Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is another um, uh, project share using some of my um, design team dies from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, so I wanted to show you what I've been playing with. At least this uh, project contains two of the dies um, that she sent me. And the first one is this one, it's called uh, the gift box. So <clears throat> here's the main piece. You cut two of these and then you have um, these layering pieces for around the window and stuff. So you can make a window or not. You can make it just square. You can make it scalloped. Um, here's the little layering piece right here. So if you want to make a shaker, you can. And um, I use this stitch piece right here, the square one for the uh, bottom piece. Okay. And then um, you got your roof right there, so you can layer that up. It turns out really cute. So really a quick and easy die to put together. So fun stuff. And then the other one I played with is the shabby chic flowers. So you got four different sizes. I mean, th three different sizes, four of each, okay? And then you have these little centers also, which is really cute. So there's uh, six of those. So really pretty. And let's see. So let me show you what I made. So again, I'm using the carousel still. I just thought this <laughs> this stuff needed the carousel and I had, you know, haven't played with it for a while, so was wanting to. So I made this cute little gift box. So I've got an acetate window in here. I um cut the scalloped edge uh, on the inside and then I also layered the square one just the plain little um, you know border one I layered that on top of that um, this whole thing is up on foam this whole trim right here is up on foam so it gives a little bit of dimension there also okay so then it's just my regular size I only did the roof on the front but I took a piece of it's that kind of um, it's a black glitter paper. Um, I'm trying to remember what brand it is. I can't remember, but it's not the greatest to cut with, to cut out of. So anyway, I cut this piece out of the black, and then I decided to cut. When I cut the other blue piece, I layered the blue pieces on top, and um, left the and just glued it to the black um, little glitter piece. So I think that turned out cute. So you can see my kind of ruffle right here on the roof. And then we got the ruffle down here, um, a rosette um, that I already had, and then some of the chipboard pieces and um, what should we call it? Um, thickers, a little page flag I already had, cute little bow on top. I attached a cute little charm here to the roof. This was one little tiny, it's kind of like a velvet white bead. Um, this is just a cute puppy sticker from the Thickers collection. Here's the flowers, the Scrap Diva flowers. They're called the Shabby Chic. So I got um, some I cut out in this pretty pink and darker pink striped paper from the collection. Then this one from the other, like a bluish color from the collection. Actually, it's the same piece as these stripes up here. Okay, and then here's a smaller one. So I got a small one. I think this is the medium and that one's the large. So I got all three sizes on here, but they turned out really cute. So I made, you know, a few of them. So I just, um, so this one's a larger one. And this one, on these ones, I actually kind of put a couple pieces of foam in, foam in between to see, you know, how that looked with the depth and stuff. Um, so it turned out okay. And this one just has a white glitter center and then a little tiny piece of bling there on top. And then these ones, I did not put any foam in. And um, I just kind of cupped them and then I, you know, kind of creased them down the center of the petal. So there's uh, four layers here. And then the, this one I cut out of the gold slit glitter for the stamen and then a little tiny little gold, like half back um, gem for the centers of those ones. So I think they turned out really pretty. This is a really fun little, um, flower set so there's those very easy to work with cut out really well so that is my um, 
cute little bakery boxes, or just call it a gift box. Um, I have a double-sided paper, so it's all the all the um, zebras inside. So it turned out really cute. It goes together really well, really easy. So you can fit a lot of stuff down in there too. So great for doing like a swap or for give somebody a, um, a you know a small gift in there. How cute is that? Love it. So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I will have all of Erica's information, uh, my affiliate link, my discount code. If you decide to purchase anything, it's Polka10. It's P-O-L-K-A-10. And um, so I'll have that down below in the dies I used and my affiliate link and all that neat stuff. Okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you're following the, the hashtag. Um, Scrap Diva Designs for tons of inspiration there, okay? Take care. See you next time. Bye.